I don't even have my MacBook Air M2 yet. It's coming in two days, but there's already people that do. And there are already benchmarks on Geekbench. Who are these people? Where are they coming from? Why, why do they get the stuff early? I don't know. So we do have some results here and there's a big range here that I'm seeing. 1894, 1889, 1949. While they're all higher scores than the M1, what's the difference between the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air M2. Is the MacBook Air M2 going to show any signs of throttling? Like some fear that there might be. Now, unfortunately, it's not super easy to find these things because <sighs> I don't know why, but for some reason, they don't just let you see the results. Uh, let's see, you go to uh, Geekbench browser, recent results, and you have all these things that are out of order and there's thousands of pages to scroll through. So if you really want to find something, good luck. You can't sort by any of these columns well you kind of can and i figured out how and i'll show you that in a minute and search doesn't really work and i figured out how to grab those results programmatically since uh you know i'm a programmer that's what i do anyway here are the results that i was able to scrape off the website anyway if you're interested in a walkthrough of me building this thing out let me know in the comments down below i recorded the whole thing and i'd be happy to share it with you but this allowed me to grab basically a whole range of pages of the search results and get all the m2 macbook air and macbook pro models scores for the single core score and multi-core score and i've arranged them in a spreadsheet. So now we can look at them and do some data analysis here. Now, since the MacBook Pros have been out a little bit longer, there's a lot more MacBook Pro results in this than MacBook Air results. And those people that are data centric will immediately yell at me in the comments about that. So we do have a few MacBook Air results here and they're showing that they're not really that much lower than the MacBook Pro results. MacBook Air, of course, don't have a fan. MacBook Pro does have a fan. So some people fear that uh, MacBook Air might show signs of weakness. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and max this column here for the single core results. 1956, let's label that as max. Let's do a min and let's do an average. So there's the max, uh, 1956 is the max for single core, 9052 is the max for multi-core. Well, the single core score is very good. The multi-core score is good for the eight cores that it has. Minimum being 1915, maximum 8199. And there's the averages right there. Now I do actually want to separate these out into MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros to see if there's any difference there. Okay, here we go. Uh, all the MacBook Pros are on the left, MacBook Airs are on the right, and we have uh, an average of 1931 for the Pros and 1931.5 for the Airs, for the single core score, 8911 for the Pros for the multi-core score, and 8932 for the MacBook Air multi-core score. So <laughs> the MacBook Air is actually just a tiny bit, really a negligible amount faster, more performant, better performant. They're essentially the same. In other words, it doesn't matter. The early benchmarks that we're seeing mean that the MacBook Air is not throttling, at least running this benchmark. Now, there's gonna be more tests and I'll be doing more tests on this channel for developer related content. So make sure you do subscribe to that to see those tests. That's it for today. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you next time.